welcome back. Today, I am redoing my vision board for 2020. This is my vision board. I got this um, cork board at Michael's and I know everyone does their vision boards differently. I just saw um, Nikki DiMartino do one and I was in love with hers. Like if I could get a vintage gold frame that's big and bulky like that, I totally would, but I don't know where I would find one of those. So I'm just gonna stick with what I have. And this wasn't even that expensive. And I love her idea of taping things to the board and being able to keep everything on there. But hers is more like a collage type to me. This is, each thing is like specific. It's kind of, I don't really know how to describe mine. Somewhere I have a bag of everything that I had on my 2018 board. Like I wanted to reach 100 subscribers and I did that. And I wanted to meet this YouTuber that I wanted to be friends with like really, really bad. I met her. I don't know, there was a bunch of different things on there and I have them all in a bag and I know that it's from 2018 and I can look back at it and be like, wow, these are the things that I accomplished. So really the only thing going in my 2019 bag would be Palm Springs. So I have like little quotes and stuff on here and the one thing I'm really, really mad about is that I have this lifelong goal, dream, whatever you want to call it, that I wanted to win an Emmy. I want to be an Emmy award winning actress. And the award for lead actress in a drama series goes to Paige Robertson. <laughs> that is what I want. So I have, an, I have this wonderful Emmy right here, but <clears throat> somebody decided to take her little mouth to it and rip it in half. I feel like I need a new one because I feel like it's bad luck to keep your dreams ripped on your vision board. And like it was just like ripped. Like my dreams were just like torn apart is pretty much what I, what I feel. We're gonna get a new one. We're going to put her right in the middle like, like before. And I have my dream role on my dream TV show. Every actor has their dream role, and this is mine. And I have the I have the role and the show. So those are on my vision board, and they're right next to my Emmy. <laughs> um, it just makes me so happy to see that. So I have these little silver tacks, and that is how I pin everything. New things printed out. I just love it. Oh. Oh, one, oh my God, hold on. When I, when I cut out this one, I will tell you what happened today because manifestation at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. And I have like little quotes and stuff on here. And then I have little fortune cookie things that I felt were really, really fun. Like this one that I have on there, it says, um, now is the time to try something new. So obviously why not put that on my vision board and then i have this quote that says i can and i will i mean that's me <laughs> i hate one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone tries to tell me that i can't do something and it just makes me want to do it even more especially if it's something that i really really want and i tell people about it and they're like well you can't do that or you're not going to be able to do that or that's not possible I'm, I'm gonna try a million times harder to make it happen just to prove people wrong. And this one says, actually, I can. <laughs> uh, there, it, mm, that's just one of my biggest, why am I sticking these back in? It's just like one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate being told I can't do something because, peop, because of small-minded people. Palm Springs. Accomplished it. When I was moving out to California, there were so many people that were trying to tell me you can't do that. You're not going to make it more than like a few months. It's so expensive. And I'm like, okay, well, here I am two years later. Do you want to come say that to me again? This is one of my favorite quotes for like motivation and stuff. It says, you get what you work for, not what you wish for. I 100% believe in that and a vision board. Like you can't just put it up and hope for it to happen. Like Palm Springs, I had on my vision board and I wanted it so bad. And I 
tried and worked so hard to make it happen and sure it didn't happen exactly the way i had hoped for <laughs> but it still happened first i'm going to cut out my emmy and i'm going to put her right in the center isn't she the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen we're just gonna place her right there in the center where she belongs we have to tape her wings down because we don't want anybody to come and ruin her. Next, I think we'll go with this one. I photoshopped this because I saw someone else do it. I don't know who she was. I don't watch her channel. I felt like this would be a really fun thing to have on here because it makes it more real. So I have my name, Paige Elizabeth, with a verification mark because goals and then a hundred thousand because if i could reach a hundred thousand in a year that would be amazing why not i'm already at like a thousand so i have nine hundred and ninety nine thousand to go so this one we'll put up here at the top and i will show you what it looks like when it's all done i promise <laughs> it's so weird sharing my goals with everybody i'm gonna cut everything out and then i'll show you I finally have everything printed out. Now it's time to put everything on board. I love the idea of printing out a number and putting putting it and putting it on your vision board of like the amount of money that you want to make in a year or something like that. So I printed mine out. It's not an unreasonable number. Like it could honestly happen. So I put that. I printed that out. So I printed out all matte black G wagon and then I also printed out this one and like this one is like legit like if I could have a G wagon this is what it would be like all matte black black rims black interior <laughs> all black everything so then I was like looking and it was like oh hey Tesla's seem pretty cool so obviously i looked it up and it's a lot cheaper it's like fifty thousand dollars cheaper than a mercedes g wagon so obviously i wanted a tesla model x all matte black and it just looks like a really nice car and then i have this house near la that i I'm in love with I'm in love with like a lot of houses out there and I've been looking at houses to motivate me because I really want a house I'm 25 okay I feel like I should get a house soon this is the house and this is the interior and it is so beautiful on the inside so dream house in LA goes on the vision board and then I also have another house because I love Palm Springs and if I could have two houses I would and if I only get one or the other, I'd be perfectly okay with it. I like a lot of the houses in Palm Springs because they're all like a mid-century modern. This house right here is a house that I am in love with. If any house that I get looks like either one of these, I, I'm, I'm going to be happy. I love New York City. I just love it. And I want to go back again and i want to go back so bad and i found this photo and it makes me want to go back to new york so bad and i want to go i just want to take a trip and go there and actually be able to see the city and do what i want to do because last time i went it was on a school trip and i was with a bunch of girls that i didn't even know and they were friends so they wanted to do what they wanted to do and i was like the fifth wheel so I want to go back to New York City. So I want a dog eventually. I printed out the two types of dog that I would love to own one day. So if I could find one of these dogs in a shelter, like that would ever happen. But I, 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 they would be going home with me like that day, no questions. So, hmm, funny story here. <laughs> if you don't know who this hot hunk is then you're missing out because we look really really good together this is jeff jeff is the hottest man to walk the planet 
he's I mean look at that look at that uh, I couldn't decide on photos to choose from so I just put it put it out these two and mmm and I've, I found him on Bumble and I swiped right and it's like just we're already manifesting our future relationship and he's gonna live with me and my dogs and we're gonna get married and it's gonna be great and I never said ever that I would ever marry like anyone but that man that man I would marry <laughs> okay so he's obviously obviously going on there so this isn't something that I like spread around that often or literally to anybody but I apparently can sing so I want to record something this year I printed out a photo of Madison Beer in a recording studio because I couldn't find a photo that was like motivating enough to be able to put on my vision board so this one I think is pretty good and if I could record a song a cover or anything I think that would be pretty cool so I want to get up the courage to record a song this year so that is everything now I'm going to place everything on here I'm going to do my TV show and my dream role right by Miami oh my god oh my god it just looks so good together it's like it's meant to be I've never had like the actual title of the show like printed out in its font and everything I just had it written down on a piece of paper but this makes it look so real that reads better for the universe you can understand me my goals I want it so bad okay moving on we're gonna put the money one right under the YouTube one, just, wow, that's a big number. <laughs> just because I feel that one can help the other. Does that make any sense? We'll put the houses. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like I'm a little kid, like making like my future life of what I want my life to be like. I mean, I pretty much am, but still. Oh my god, no, I have the cutest idea. Okay, so I'm going to take my houses, I'm going to move them up into the corner, and then I'm going to take my little puppies, and I'm going to put them right in the middle because they're obviously gonna live there with me. And then I'm going to take my G-Wagon, and I'm going to put it like it's like kind of parked in front of my LA house. And then the Tesla can be parked in front of the Palm Springs house. <gasps> Oh my god, it's like my dream life coming true. We're all in one board. Oh my god, I love it. And then we can take this G wagon and we can put it. We can put just put this one down here just because it's pretty. And then the other pretty thing, Jeff, we'll put over here. This one can come up here because it's gonna be coming over to my house quite often. And Madison can come over by YouTube because we're gonna be recording an album or something and then my trip to New York can come over by this G-Wagon oh I guess the other Jeff photo can come up here and then we're gonna oh we can put this YouTube sign right here we can put girl boss right here this is literally the best vision board I have ever made in the whole two years that I've been doing it she's not afraid we'll put that next to my Emmy I can and I will. We will put that right under my Emmy. Everything is surrounding my Emmy because that is the thing that I want the most. Oh my god, it's done and it's so cute, so cute. So here's my vision board. There's the living room with my two dogs and my LA house and my Palm Springs house and my Tesla and the cars, you know, both parked in front of the houses with my future boyfriend at each house. Down here we have my G-Wagon, my trip to New York, some quotes, my Emmy, YouTube, Paige Elizabeth verified with 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, what? And then obviously I'm going to record a song or something. There she is. Now let's go hang this bad boy up and get some goals going. So now that I have finally finished the vision board of 2020 which I haven't put a year on it yet but that's besides the point the only thing left to do is hang it up where 
Oh my god. The only thing left to do is hang it up where I will be able to see it every single day and manifest my dream life. So that's my vision board for 2020. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope it inspires you to go out and create your own vision board because why would you not want to try to manifest your dreams and putting them on a board like has a higher chance of like helping you fulfill your goals and your hopes and your dreams and all of those things because you're looking at it every single day. And I truly want <laughs> literally everything on this board and I come to this light every single day and I walk out of this door every single day and I stand here and get dressed every single day so right here is where I'm going to look every single day and see the dream life that I want I have to go turn I have to, I have to go ch I, I suck at outros and I'm never gonna be good at them maybe I should make that my 2020 goal is to be good at outroing a video. I have to go turn the noodle. I have to go stir the pot. I have to I have to go stir my noodles that I'm cooking. So, bye.